now we get into real weather and you didn't have to worry about it with basketball. You don't have to worry about it with hockey. So, you know, out of the gate, my, my feeling is, I know you hate the word value. I would rather lose and just take the $300 dog because I know that that price shouldn't be that high because it's the first game of the season. Are you guys? So, San Francisco wins the game one nothing. I gave it out on the radio yesterday. The point is not that I'm bragging that I gave out San Francisco on the radio yesterday. The point is why you can't make money playing baseball if you're going to play favorites. I said it yesterday. I've said it for 20 years, and nothing has changed. Today was a rare day where all the teams, all the teams had an opening session. They had an opening game. Well, let's go through these notable dogs. First of all, the, the home team has a, a huge edge on opening day. My Orioles, they win every opening day. We didn't play them because we weren't willing to lay 35 cents, and we weren't going to lay a run and a half on a home team. That's a no-no, and the Orioles won the game 3-2. to two. Atlanta Braves come back and win the game plus 130, 8-5. San Francisco Giants win the game plus 306, one nothing. Tampa Bay comes back against Boston, wins the game 6-4, plus 175. Oakland Athletics again at home, wins 6-5, plus 120. The Chai Sox come back and win 14-7, plus 140 on the road. And in the bottom of the fifth inning as we speak right now, Seattle is at home, plus 180, winning 2-0. So if they win that game, Seattle, every home team won, plus the White Sox on the road, home team dog, and San Francisco on the road, as I stated on the radio. I said there was three major dogs, Boston being one of them, San Fran being one of them, and I said all three of these games, I can assure you one team won't win. So I was fading the Cubs on the radio, I was fading Boston on the radio, and I was fading the Dodgers on the radio, two and one, even though I didn't release the games to the clients, the point was you have to have certain strategies in place if you want to make money in this upcoming baseball season. Now, let's get back to real reality. First of all, if you didn't listen to the radio show, head on over to Sports Insider Radio. Listen to the Archive 28th show. Today is the 29th. Now, what I'm holding in my hand while I smoke this lovely, delicious cigar... Here's a Cigar Aficionado. The Cigar Aficionado magazine is the April issue. So you think of it like I'm a little ahead of my time. What you'll notice in social media is a lot of people talk about their exploits years ago. And then they play off that to make money now selling information. And everybody has a right to sell their information. And no, I take nothing away from anybody who wants to make a living. You'll see a lot of people that are negative and try to act like they're policing the industry. It's a bunch of nonsense. The biggest issue in this business is people are underfunded and they have unrealistic expectations and they expect to have huge returns with no capital. You couldn't trade Bitcoin unless you had $7,500, a coin. You couldn't trade Apple stock unless you had $185 a stock share. You couldn't trade Google unless you had a thousand, a dime, a share. But people want to open up accounts and put $500 in them and think they're going to hit the lottery. And they don't want to practice the proper money management. And that tune has been the same for the last 20 years. You're either a trader or you're a gambler. Now, ironically, I talk about being the syndicate insider, having access to the sharpest players in the business. But I mean relevant players in real time. If you head on over to the newsstand, and you grab the April edition, what you'll see is there's a write-up on Ed Teams, who's David Miller's partner at Vegas Ringers. The article is also posted on Instagram, at Vegas Ringers. Small games, big money. And it talks about the exploits of Dave, how he's made his fortune, his million dollars in watches, his 30 cars from the casinos, all relevant, all now, all real. But the article actually ends... And when it ends, the article actually ends, and it says, remember, David has a bigger picture. 
He's looking to make as much money as he can in sports, endless money in sports, and continually beat sports. He also gives out a free information, free pick, so to speak, in the article, which I'll give to you here. Rounding out things, they are deep into sports betting. Here's an easy tip from teams. If an NFL underdog is ahead by a lot at the half against a public outfit like the Patriots or the Cowboys, make a halftime bet on the dog to cover the spread. Teams has been applying advantage playing strategies to the trading of futures and cryptocurrencies and sports. So the question is, is the guy you're looking to get information from a fan of sports? Or is the guy you're looking to get information from a trader of sports? Do you know how to manage your bankroll? Do you panic when you lose? Or are you ice cold like you have ice going through your veins like Ed and Dave? If you watch my videos archived on my YouTube channel with David, you'll see I always ask him, you never get emotional if you have a bad day. And he goes, why, why would I? I'm applying the proper stop losses, so to speak, like you would in the market. So understand this is the world that we're living in. When I say I have access to the largest sports bettors in the world, I'm not talking about past. I'm talking about current. April 2018. April 2018. Head to the newsstands. Check out the article. And if you want to follow my man Dave and Eddie Teams, head on over to at Vegas Ringers. Come in from the outside. Come into the inside. Treat your betting as a business like I've been saying for several decades. And you too can profit like the professionals that are written up in these articles week in and week out. If you have unrealistic expectations, you won't be successful. If you don't have the patience to apply a money management system like Ed Teams and David Miller, you won't be successful. But if you can sit on your hands and wait and not expect to hit 10 team parlays and parlay your $500 into thousands, pick up the phone, call the office, head on over to Vegas Ringers, check them out and call them, and understand that if you wanna deal with someone like me, as opposed to someone that is on social media bragging about their exploits of the past, you can't get any more current on March 30th than having the April issue in your hand. Good day and good luck.